is your attitude, probably underpins the four practices of, uh, of fish. And it's very much about choosing the right attitude for the, uh, the desired outcome that you have for that moment. And uh, it's not always about having a positive attitude, but choosing the right attitude for the situation you're about to go into. Choose your attitude is very much uh, something that we all need to do uh, time to time uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, when we're, whether we're walking into a, um, a serious meeting uh, or a sales pitch. And um, for me, um, the best example was probably a recent trip that I was heading uh, on my way to Queensland and uh, I had to be on stage to present, uh, funnily enough, around fish and uh, I had to be there at 11.30 and um, I arrived at the airport only to find that um, my plane uh, had been delayed and had been delayed significantly and was going to uh, ultimately end up diverting me via Sydney and I needed to be in Queensland to deliver as I mentioned at 11.30. So at that time I knew that it was uh, nothing to do with the, the people behind the desk and uh, I had to choose my attitude and I had to choose to be positive and, and go on and let the show and the show just must go on. There's lots of obstacles and things, especially in events that we have to overcome and I think it's just about choosing like a positive attitude to sort of get through that and not yeah, not letting it I guess ruin the whole entire day or the whole entire afternoon or the entire event just because one bad thing happened. I think it's just about yeah, choosing I guess, a positive way of getting around it and okay, what can we do about it? Not only in my work environment, but I think also just in life in general, I really think choose your attitude is massively important um, from um, a perspective of keeping your own sanity. Um, if you don't choose your attitude um, in a lot of situations, whether it is with a client or even just um, anyone you deal with um, on a day-to-day -day basis, you just got to do your head in. It stops you from overthinking situations that don't need that overthinking and it just keeps you on track. Um, and when you're choosing your attitude, you actually generally tend to choose one that is going to be a better outcome and a better result for yourself and for whoever, the, you, whoever you are interacting with. The big one that stands out for me is uh, choose your attitude. Um, I think uh, with the hustle and bustle that we uh, that we go on a regular basis throughout our lives, and you know, if you've got families and you've had a tough day with kids, um, you know, you might be up at five in the morning when your little one has woken up, which has happened to me a few times. Um, you can get to work pretty tired and grumpy, and I think uh, you know the mantra that I always try and live by is when you open that door at your office. Um, you switch on and you say, well look, I'm going to choose my attitude and say that this is going to be a good day, I'm going to enjoy myself and, uh, and how much that has on other, in, other workers within the workplace is huge. Um, I think it's really important to, to conduct yourself in the right way and be positive and choose your attitude um, and that will obviously follow on to the rest of the team.